Have you ever felt undervalued, ignored or belittled by someone who should value you? Today, we're going to explore nine attitudes that can transform the way you deal with these people all based on the principles of Stoicism. These attitudes are like powerful tools that will help you change how you act in your relationships and how you face those who don't value you as they should. Imagine having total control over your emotions and reactions without letting the actions of others affect you. Have you ever thought about learning to stay calm and dignified even when things get tough? Keep watching, because these nine strategies will show you how to do it, bringing peace and self-confidence into your life. Have you ever gone through times when your qualities and efforts weren't recognized? Have you ever had to deal with people who don't appreciate you, even if you're doing your best? We're going to talk about this and give you practical steps you can use immediately to improve your interactions and strengthen your self-esteem. Stay with us until the end and find out how to make these people desperate with the powerful impact of silence. Have you ever noticed how sometimes silence can say more than words? Imagine a situation where someone tries to provoke you or belittle you, expecting you to react explosively, and you simply remain silent looking on calmly. This is the power of strategic silence, a stoic technique that can completely change how you interact with others. In stoicism, silence is not just a lack of words, but a careful choice, an act of control and power. When you decide not to respond verbally to a provocation, you are showing a mastery over your emotions that few others can have. This self-control can surprise and disarm the person expecting a reaction. Think about the times you've been treated unfairly or not recognized. How did you react? If you argued or tried to explain your point of view, you ended up playing into the other person's hands. But when you opt for silence and don't take part in this dynamic, it's like playing a game of chess. Instead of moving your pieces, you observe, analyze, and wait for the right moment to act, if there ever is one. Silence also gives you time to think, assess the situation, and decide how best to respond if necessary. It allows you to show that you are not being controlled by the emotions of the moment, which can surprise those who try to destabilize you, because most people are not used to this response. They expect an explosive reaction, a counterattack, something that validates their provocation. What's more, silence reveals an inner strength that many people don't realize. When you remain silent in the face of provocation, you are showing that you don't need anyone's approval to feel your own worth. Your confidence comes from within, not from the opinions of others. And this strength is very powerful because it is immune to external criticism. Imagine how this can change your relationships. Instead of getting involved in unnecessary arguments and conflicts, you remain calm and firm. People will begin to see you differently, realizing that you are not easily shaken and that you have a strength that comes from a deep and stable place. And this transformation is not just external. Internally, you begin to feel a peace and confidence that you may never have experienced before. You realize that you don't need to prove anything to anyone, that your value doesn't lie in the words you say or the arguments you win, but in the way you live with serenity and purpose. So the next time someone tries to belittle you or provoke you, remember the power of silence. Use it as your secret weapon and see how you begin to transform your relationships and yourself. Silence can be your most powerful ally on the stoic journey, showing the world your inner strength without you having to say a single word. Have you ever been in a situation where someone has tried to provoke you expecting you to react explosively? Imagine the power of remaining calm and not giving the response they expect from you. This is what we call the art of not reacting one of the most important principles of Stoicism. Think of a meeting where someone makes a sarcastic comment about your work. Everyone looks at you, expecting you to respond or defend yourself. But instead, you take a deep breath, look calmly at the person, and choose not to respond immediately. That moment of pause and control is where your true power lies. Many people believe that reacting quickly shows strength, but it's actually the opposite. Reacting impulsively usually means that you are being controlled by your emotions, not the other way around. Stoicism teaches that true strength lies in remaining calm and clear, even when we are provoked. Think of a burning ember. If you blow on it, the fire grows. If you ignore it, it eventually goes out. When we don't react immediately, we give our emotions time to calm down, allowing us to think clearly 
and respond in a way that really reflects who we are and what we want. What's more, when you don't react impulsively, you confuse those who have tried to destabilize you. They expect an explosion or a counterattack, something that validates their provocation. By not reacting, you break this cycle, showing that you are not being controlled by the emotions of the moment. You are in control. Imagine how this could change your daily interactions. Instead of being seen as someone who gets carried away by emotions, you become a calm and stable presence. People begin to respect you more and see you as uh, someone who thinks before acting and who isn't easily swayed. And this skill is not only beneficial for your relationships with others, but also for your inner peace. By learning the art of not reacting, you begin to live more serenely without being so affected by the little provocations of everyday life. You realize that you have the power to choose your responses, to live according to your values, and not be controlled by the emotions of others. So the next time someone tries to provoke you, remember the art of not reacting. Use this moment to breathe, calm down, and choose your response wisely. You'll be surprised at the difference it makes to your life and the respect you receive from others. The art of not reacting is one of the greatest strengths that Stoicism can offer us, allowing us to live with more balance and serenity, valuing self-sufficiency, and walking the path to freedom. Have you ever thought about the freedom that comes from being self-sufficient? Imagine not having to rely on anyone else to achieve your goals and fulfill your desires. Not only does it make you stronger, but it also changes the way others see you. Being self-reliant is a sign of power and self-confidence that Stoicism values highly. When you're self-sufficient, you're not bound by the expectations and demands of others. Think about how liberating that is you have control over your life and your choices, and this is reflected in all your actions. People begin to see you differently, admiring your independence and strength. Imagine a garden that you tend with your own hands. Every plant that grows, every flower that blooms is the result of your efforts. This garden is a metaphor for your life. When you build your life with your own hands, the result is something real that shows your dedication and resilience. The people around you can't help but notice and admire this. When you become selective in who you choose to share your life with, you don't have to accept any kind of treatment. You know you can manage on your own. This makes the people around you realize your true value and want to be part of your life, not out of necessity, but by choice. Self-sufficiency also protects you from manipulation. Anyone who tries to underestimate you realizes the strength and security of knowing that you don't need them for anything. This disarms any attempt at manipulation because you are above these little traps. Every time you demonstrate that you are self-sufficient, you send out a powerful message. I am enough. This message is reflected in everything you do, strengthening your sense of value and purpose. People around you begin to notice this. They see that you don't bow down in the face of difficulties and that you have the ability to overcome challenges on your own. Being self-reliant doesn't mean isolating yourself or rejecting the help of others, but rather being sure that, if necessary, you can make your way on your own. This self-confidence is inspiring and attracts admiration from everyone. They see in you someone who knows their worth and who doesn't need to prove anything to anyone. So cultivate your self-reliance. You not only strengthen yourself, but also change the dynamics of your relationships. You become an example of strength and independence, someone people want to be around. Because being self-reliant is ultimately one of the greatest powers you can develop, showing the world that you are complete in yourself. When you focus on what really matters, something magical happens. You start to live a purposeful life. Instead of being dragged down by the demands and expectations of others, you set your own priorities. This creates an inner strength that is hard to shake. Imagine being at a party full of superficial conversations and noise. Instead of feeling obliged to take part in everything, you choose to talk to the one or two people who really matter to you. This focus transforms the experience, leaving the party feeling connected and satisfied rather than exhausted. Now apply this to your life. When you focus on the essential, you start to say no to everything that doesn't add value. This not only frees up your time and energy, but also sends a clear message. You know what you want and you won't be sidetracked by distractions. People who try to devalue, you don't know how to deal with it because you're not playing their game. Think of a ship on the open sea dot if it doesn't have a clear destination. Any wind or current can divert it. 
but with a fixed destination, it sails steadily regardless of the storms. When you are clear about what is essential, you become that ship sailing steadily towards your goals, indifferent to the attempts of others to divert you. This focus on the essential also brings inner peace. When you stop worrying about trivial things and focus on what really matters, you feel lighter, your worries diminish, and you begin to see the beauty in the simple and meaningful things in life. This is something that many people have never experienced and it is exactly this that can leave them perplexed. Here's the secret. When you focus on the essential, you become a source of inspiration. People around you notice your clarity and determination. They see that you are not swayed by trivialities and begin to respect that. Those who try to belittle you are destabilized because they can't understand how you remain so focused and unwavering. So start living with that focus, prioritize what matters, and leave the rest to one side. This is one of the most powerful lessons of Stoicism and can completely transform the way you live and are perceived by others. By concentrating on the essentials, you not only find a new strength within yourself, but you also show the world that you are someone who knows what you want and won't be sidetracked by anything or anyone. The vital need to set limits is essential Imagine a beautiful beach where the tide line is clearly defined. The water knows how far it can go, and the sand remains calm and secure in its place. Just like the beach, we to need to set clear boundaries in our lives. Setting boundaries is an act of self-respect and is essential for others to respect you too. Setting limits doesn't mean building walls to keep people out, but rather creating a safe space where you can flourish. When you define what is acceptable and what is not, you are telling the world that you value yourself enough to protect your well-being. This not only increases your self-respect, but also makes others see you differently. Imagine you have a garden. If you don't put up fences, animals, and people can step on your flowers, destroying your hard work. By fencing your garden, you are protecting what is valuable to you. In the same way, by setting boundaries, you are preserving your inner peace and your time. Two of the most precious resources we have when you start to set limits, something incredible happens. People start to treat you with more respect. They see that you are not willing to accept any behavior and that you value their time and energy. This can destabilize those who are used to overstepping their boundaries as they now have to adjust their attitudes. Setting limits also gives you a sense of control. You are no longer at the mercy of other people's demands and expectations. You decide where to invest your time and energy. This gives you enormous freedom and makes you feel more powerful and confident in your decisions. Don't think that setting limits is an act of selfishness. In fact, it's one of the greatest acts of self-love you can practice. When you respect yourself enough to say no when necessary, you are looking after yourself. This, in turn, allows you to be a better version of yourself to those who really matter in your life. By setting clear boundaries, you also set an example for others. They see that it's possible to live according to your values and priorities. Without getting carried away by external pressure, you become an inspiration, showing them that it is possible to live an authentic and fulfilling life. So start thinking about the boundaries you need to set. Respect yourself and see how the world begins to respect you more. Setting limits is a powerful practice of stoicism that can transform your relationships and more importantly the way you see yourself. In doing so, you will discover a new strength and an inner peace that only comes from knowing that you are tending your own garden. Have you ever felt overwhelmed because you didn't know how to say no or let others overstep your boundaries? Imagine how relieving and empowering it would be if you set clear boundaries protecting your time and your inner peace. How do you think your life would change if you started to respect yourself more and demanded the same respect from others? Share your ideas in the comments and if you like tell us your story. Now imagine using time to your advantage, turning every moment into a chance to grow and prosper. Stoicism teaches us to let time be our ally a concept that may surprise those who try to pressure us or underestimate us. Think of nature. A tree doesn't rush to grow. It goes at its own pace, ignoring the changing seasons and storms. Over time, it becomes strong, robust and unshakable, such as the Stoic, who understands that time is a faithful ally, capable of turning adversity into strength and patience into power. When someone tries to provoke you or press you for a quick response, your serenity can leave them confused. While everyone around you is rushing to solve everything immediately, 
you remain calm. This ability to wait and bide your time shows a rare and admirable inner strength. Using time to your advantage doesn't mean being passive or inert. On the contrary, it's an active form of control. When you choose to wait for the right moment to act, you are showing a deep understanding of the circumstances and confidence in your ability to deal with any situation. It's like a game of chess, where every move is calculated and made at the right time. Remember the times you rushed into a decision and then regretted it. Now imagine if you had waited longer, thought things through, and let time show you the right path. This is the wisdom of time, a stoic lesson that teaches us the importance of not acting impulsively, but with reflection and discernment. Those who observe your patience may initially underestimate you, thinking that you are hesitating or indecisive. But over time, they realize the strength of your serenity and understand that you are not reacting randomly, but acting with a well-thought-out plan. Knowing that time will bring new opportunities and solutions is a sign of true strength. Those who try to bring you down or devalue, you end up frustrated by your patience, realizing that you are like that sturdy tree that continues to grow regardless of the storms. Use this to reflect, grow, and strengthen your resilience. Show the world that your patience is not weakness, but a powerful demonstration of control and wisdom. In doing so, you become an example of serenity and strength. Enjoying this video, if you want to continue learning how to use the principles of Stoicism to transform your life, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Join us on this journey of growth and self-knowledge practicing the art of gratitude. Now imagine dealing with someone negative, someone who constantly tries to discourage you with criticism and contempt. Visualize responding to them with a sincere thank you. It may seem strange, but practicing gratitude can change this situation and even surprise those who don't appreciate you. When you start cultivating gratitude, something magical happens. Your view of things changes. You begin to see the good in situations and people, even those who seem determined to devalue you. By expressing gratitude, you not only improve your emotional state, but you also break down the expectations of those who expect a negative reaction from you. Think of gratitude as a powerful weapon. When someone criticizes you and you respond with a sincere thank you for your feedback, I'll think about it, you completely disarm the person. They were hoping to upset you, but they find a calm and grateful response leaving them not knowing how to continue with the criticism. Practicing gratitude also strengthens your positive relationships. You appreciate the good times more and improve your well-being. Those who try to belittle you realize that their words have little or no effect on you. Gratitude is not just a response, but a daily practice. When you wake up, give thanks for the new day, for the little things like a good cup of coffee, a friendly smile, or a moment of peace. This changes your energy and the way you face challenges. Over time, this positive attitude begins to influence everyone around you. Now think of a situation where you've been unfairly criticized. Instead of responding with anger or frustration, imagine saying something like, I appreciate your point of view. It gives me a new perspective to consider. This response not only shows maturity, but also disarms the critic. They didn't expect you to be able to thank them and consider the criticism so calmly. This approach also makes the people around you start to respect you more. They see that you are not easily shaken, that you have a solid foundation of gratitude and positivity. This foundation becomes a fortress that criticism and negativity cannot penetrate. Practicing gratitude can be transformative. It's not just about being polite, but about changing your own perspective and the way you interact with the world. With every thank you, you build a barrier against negativity and strengthen your own inner peace. So the next time someone tries to bring you down with negative words, respond with gratitude. See how this not only transforms the interaction, but also strengthens your serenity and confidence, the strength of stoic resilience. When life brings challenges and obstacles, how do you face them? For stoics, being resilient is a very important quality a strength that helps you face problems with courage and calm. It's not just about going through difficulties, but about growing from them and showing the world how valuable you are. Imagine a river flowing through the mountains. It encounters rocks, logs, and falls, but it doesn't give up. It goes around the obstacles and continues on its way until it reaches its destination. This is stoic resilience. No matter how many problems come your way, 
you find ways to move forward, adapting and learning from each experience. When the people around you don't recognize your value, it can be hard not to get discouraged. But stoic resilience teaches you to hold your head high. You understand that your value doesn't depend on what others think, but on your own vision and the effort you put into your actions. Every challenge you overcome confirms your inner strength, something that no one can take away from you. This calm strength confuses those who try to belittle you. They expect you to give up, but when they see your resilience, they realize that their efforts are futile. Your ability to keep going despite the difficulties becomes your greatest weapon. You're not just resilient, you're unbreakable. Stoic resilience doesn't come overnight. It's a daily practice, a constant choice to face challenges with courage and calm. The more you practice, the stronger you become. For Stoics, obstacles are opportunities in disguise, chances to strengthen the mind and spirit. So the next time you face a challenge or encounter someone who doesn't recognize your value, remember Stoic resilience. See every obstacle has a chance to grow and show the world and yourself the depth of your inner strength, honesty as an ethical foundation. Let's explore one of Stoicism's most powerful and transformative virtues, honesty. Not just any kind of honesty, but one that is direct and blunt, that doesn't try to hide the truth. This stoic transparency can be an incredible tool for dealing with criticism and gaining respect. When you are brutally honest, you are showing the world that you have nothing to hide. This creates an aura of trust around you. People know they can rely on your word and that you are true to your intentions. Doubt there is no room for games or manipulation. Your authenticity becomes clear and unquestionable. Imagine a situation in which you have made a mistake. The common instinct would be to try to justify or minimize the mistake, but a stoic embraces the truth. Yes, I made a mistake. Here's what I'm doing to put it right. This approach not only diffuses criticism, but also demonstrates admirable integrity. People respect those who recognize their faults and work to correct them. This same transparency applies to praise, being honest about the merits of others strengthens your relationships and creates an atmosphere of trust. When you sincerely recognize someone's talents and efforts without exaggerating or having ulterior motives, you build a solid bond. People realize that your compliments are sincere, which increases their respect and admiration for you. Living transparently requires courage. You have to be willing to face difficult truths and accept constructive criticism. This courage, however, is rewarded with a more authentic and meaningful life. When you don't have to keep up appearances or lie to please, your mind becomes lighter and your path clearer. Being brutally honest doesn't mean being insensitive. It's possible to be direct without being rude. The key lies in the intention. When your honesty comes from a place of respect and a desire for mutual growth, it is well received. People begin to see you as someone who cares enough to tell the truth, even when it's difficult. In addition, practicing honesty strengthens your self-confidence. When you know that you are living according to your values and have nothing to hide, you feel more secure. This inner security is reflected in the way you present yourself to the world, not walking with your head held high, knowing that you are being true to yourself. In the professional context, this virtue can open many doors. Leaders who practice transparency gain the loyalty and respect of their teams, creating an environment where communication is clear and objectives are understood by all. This clarity can lead to greater efficiency and better results. If you want to incorporate this virtue into your life and learn more about how Stoicism can transform your daily life, subscribe to the channel and leave a like. If you've made it this far, leave your mark by writing in the comments. The Wise Stoic Let's walk a path of self-knowledge and growth together. Until the next video, my friends.